Well, all new this morning, a WBTV investigation is digging deeper into what happens when someone goes online and pretends to be you. That's what happened to one woman who's sharing her experience and problems getting help with investigative reporter Naomi Coles. Good morning. Almost 60,000 people follow Presley Rose life and dog on Instagram. I'm an artist. I've kind of dabbled in a little bit of everything as an entrepreneur in LA. Unknown thousands more follow a shadow that looks like her. This all started in 2019 and hasn't stopped. For years, somebody has been taking Presley's photos, opening dozens of accounts across social media platforms, and using her photos to pose as Presley for all kinds of reasons. Sometimes money, other times catfishing men. They have a catalog of basically everything I have posted on my story for the past five years. The problem has a darker side. When the men being catfished find the real Presley. They believe that I'm their girlfriend or that we're gonna meet one day. And so that puts my actual safety in jeopardy. I actually developed a panic disorder. I'm the CEO of Fortalist Solutions and the former White House Chief Information Officer for President George W. Bush. Teresa Payton wrote about a case where she had dealt with an online account claiming to be an employee of her cybersecurity firm. Presley Rhodes saw that and came calling in desperation with a very specific detail. The name Emily Thaw. One fake name used on the accounts affecting both Presley and Teresa's firm. I just said, please help me. Nobody cares. She's so desperate for answers. She can't seem to get anybody on the online platforms to help her. A 2021 report by the firm Hype Auditor found only 55% of Instagram followers are real people. The rest, bots, inactive accounts, and mass followers. When that resulted in impersonation leading to harassment, there's almost no one to call. I had to give up because I was reporting these pages and they weren't being removed. There's really no central clearinghouse to say, have you been a victim of online impersonation? Report your case here. Instagram would take some fake Presley accounts down. Other times they'd ignore them or find the accounts were not violating community guidelines. It's cyber stalking, it's cyber harassment and it shouldn't be allowed. Pew Research from 2021 finds 41% of people have experienced online harassment. And experts say the ability to get help through the law remains slim to none. It really is the Wild West right now as it comes to regulation, and it's only going to get worse with deep fake AI videos, deep fake voice cloning. Meanwhile, Presley has brought in an attorney to help after police didn't, but the new fake accounts keep coming. So I'm just chasing a ghost. In Charlotte, Naomi Coles, WBTV on your side. Fascinating and troubling. Naomi Coles and investigative producer Whitney Clegg reached out to Meta, Instagram's parent company. They did not hear back. Meanwhile, here are some things you can do to protect yourself if you find yourself in a similar situation. Keep a documentation trail, just like Presley did. Report it to the social media company and the FTC. You can also report to the Internet Crime Complaint Center, or IC3. We'll have more resources online at WBTV.com.